Yo, I appreciate these people helping me out, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's like sometimes you can't find good help these days, you know? Like when you need something to die and like they just don't they don't cooperate. So he stops it. The dragon spirit awakens. Bro, you're still killing the card. Bro, the dragon spirit is about to be extra pissed. Oh boy. So, what you guys are about to watch is actually a replay, technically, from my first stream. We did do a stream here on this channel, and it was fantastic. It's going to be going over this deck, Talia, and somebody else that I can't think of. <laughs> Talia, Master Yi was phenomenal. You guys are going to absolutely love it. So, without further ado, oh yes, and that's the reason why I'm doing this intro is because uh, there's going to be piano music kind of playing because I can't do copyright songs but you know I, I had to do what i had to do in order to keep you guys entertained while the stream was going live if you guys want to know make sure you guys are follow the bell notification all that good stuff so that you can be notified when i do do another stream because they will be kind of sporadic and plus you would love to be there too i hope i hope i hope anyway enjoy the show we are live here on stream I'm, I'm i never did this before but we're live here on stream while i'm streaming i'm recording while i'm recording i'm streaming all right, so the diff the thing about um, Shurima in general, right? And Talia in general. But wait, Star Guardian Talia? That's a thing? That's a thing? Why do I feel like I didn't know that? <laughs> anyway, obviously the Rolling Sands and Vulnerable. Why don't, I don't know why people don't talk about this or enough. If Talia in her evolved form, if she connects with the Nexus, right? That is 10 damage. <laughs> this is two per, per per thing, and then she has four. It's 10 damage. So I've actually made decks before when I use Vulnerable a lot to pull people away from Talia so that she can actually hit the Nexus pure. And that's usually like a, a deck that I'll try and a, a deck that I'll use. But now with Yi, uh, with Yi, I thought about that as well. A lot of ways I was trying to think like switching. So we're running Syncopation. We have as much stupid stuff with the Rolling Sands as possible. I'm even running Charm uh, to see if I could uh, actually bounce back the Rock Hopper. Uh, we're running Wuju style for uh, just for triggers and stuff like that. We're running one of Ghost. We're running the Tellstones for Stand United and for Homecoming nonsense. Obviously, Health Potion if we need it. Shapestone because we should have enough uh, landmarks out there. Uh, Ancient Hourglass because we can not only, you guys already know, not only can I uh, use it and then duplicate it with Talia, but it's another landmark and, and it's also go for the, the Grand Grand Papa, the Herald of Magus. And that is a cool way to give Yi and also Talia overwhelm at the same time. It kind of makes sense. The deck to me makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Uh, I think that it should work. A lot of our cards are also low curve, so we should be fine. And then we have a couple of higher curve stuff in case we need to get to it. It should make sense, uh, in my personal opinion. I actually thought about running Zeraf in this as well, but I don't have enough actual landmarks to make Zeraf work. I need to run some of the other smaller ones uh, in order to make it work. But it should theoretically do something. Now, this is another deck that I have not tested, so the stream will get to see it here live. And uh, all my glorious mistakes. <laughs> Josie, are you here? Josie, Josie, please. Please don't tell me you left. 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 Oh, this is gonna be funny. I'm gonna mulligan everything here. Um, I should technically keep the Telstones, and I I, I will, uh, in case I need to bounce Viego. And the game hates me. Um, <laughs> we're actually going, uh, 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 a viewer asked about how do you fight, how do you fight against Evelyn Viego, and now we're actually fighting against it, which is hilarious. Um, and like I said, the, the, the best thing to do is to reset Viego or kill him beforehand. Unfortunately, this deck isn't, like, actually fast enough to, I think, kill it. I think the only way is if I draw, he's a three drop, right? I, I need to draw E on next turn, and I kind of have to have ways to pump him up so that I can just start blowing up his board to the point where Viego can't really last long enough. Uh, also, yeah, we have all this. I, I'm thinking about Buried Earth. Warm your body. Unraveled Earth, I think, sorry. Oh, that is disgusting. Well, he'd have to keep it there for like eight years in order to do that. Um, do we bank the mana here? And we also have Ghost, so we do have, we have Burst Lethal. I'm gonna use this. Endless Devout. So we do get a, a, a tree, a three drop, which is good. 
Uh, I just need to start applying pressure. I need to apply a lot of pressure here, or else I'm just gonna get. No, <laughs> I don't have quicksand. Um, I do that a lot actually. When I make decks, I sometimes I omit certain really good cards because I'm not. I'm looking to not do it. I don't have quicksand. A quicksand would be good because then I could take away his fearsome and block it with like a chub blocker. Um, uh, but then again, he doesn't have quicksand either. And even though I am running the the double deny. Region, I'm not running right of negation and I'm not running deny either, which would help me beat him when he tries to go for vengeance or atrocity. So we really are in a, in a bad way if he does get anything going. My only atrocity, oh, well, I do have a, uh, technically I can counter atrocity and I can technically counter vengeance too. I can just bounce my own cards back. The other deck, the Jin, uh, the Jin Cannon would be able to deal better with that. So we did Brick Grow again. So we're going to snap down to Endless Devout and we're going to hope that we can get something going. Crumble is a good card. They definitely run Crumble too, yeah. Shadow Owl's got an insane amount of buffs in this uh, in this uh, expansion. Like the last couple expansions, Shadow Owl has gotten stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, and I think that it's it's definitely noticeable. So next turn he drops Evelyn, right? Or he, I'm assuming he does. And he's not gonna play anything because that tells me in my minds of minds that he has Evelyn. He wants to give Evelyn a uh, regen. Um, Unless he plays a card here. I feel like he has Evelyn in his hand. If he really wants to be pushy, he'll keep mana and then he drops Viego and then he gives Viego regeneration. But I think that he's going to play some... If he doesn't play anything here, that means he has Evelyn. That's my assumption. Uh, but on turn four, I'm 120,000% playing Unraveled Earth. <laughs> and I'm making it that his... Okay. He's hoping for something good here. Impressive. Tough Evelyn is kind of annoying. Tough Vigo is kind of annoying. I, he definitely plays... I, I still think he has Evelyn, though. One mana... Uh, fading Mira? Oh, I'm thinking like... what? Why? I could save it, but... Are you trying to open attack or something? Am I missing something here? Don't what in the... F nah, bro. <laughs> no. Just no. That's like so much value. It's like kind of stupid how, how much value that technically is. Uh, we need our champions. Oh, uh, we are. I think we have a lot of spells in the deck. Useless. So, what that also tells me is that we need to mulligan. I actually like the spells in our deck, right? But it means that I need to mulligan for units. And then. Uh, in our deck, we'll draw into this stuff because we have so much of it. But we need to mulligan into our units hard, harder. Much, much harder. Like, super harder. Any type of... I actually did. I think that... I remember doing it, and I feel like I didn't release the video because, like, it was so bad. It's like... <clears throat> that's back when I was, like, so concerned whether or not, like, I had a unique video or not. So what happened was that... My friend actually had the deck. I think I did drop it. It might be still on the channel, uh, one of my earlier videos. So what happened was that my friend showed me that deck, and and he was and he showed it to me, and I loved it. And then I was I did it, and I think like Snooey or somebody else dropped the video, and I was just so distraught. Like I was just like, oh, now it's gonna look like I'm copying off of them or something like that. Uh, and so it came to the point where I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> I I don't care. Um. If like if someone else does a video or a concept, so I yeah Viego. We have to bounce that like 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 really 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 have to bounce this Viego uh, uh Viego with a like all this fancy stuff on him. Uh, so we, we the the thing here is that we want to let him think that he's gonna keep it, and then we bounce it at an awkward uh, awkward time, resetting the Viego, and then kind of like giving us uh, allowing us to stall a little bit longer. We obviously need to stall a little bit longer because we're really not doing anything at the moment. So that's the thing. But yeah, so what I would do is that if I saw a Grappler drop a video, I would just be, oh crap, Grappler got to it first. Oh shit, Mega uh, Mawai uh, uh, Magwai got to it first. They did, and a lot of the times they all do the same video like within the same week. So it's like, I don't know why I used to be so afraid of it. So I just said, screw it. If I if I come up with a concept and then someone else does a video on it, then it is what it is. That, that's it. It is what it is. 
And now if you actually, um, now if you actually, uh, really see that I'll, uh, I'll even take their deck straight up. I'll just, I'll, I'll tag them in the, in the title and I'll just take their deck. Oh God, that's a good deck. <laughs> that's a fantastic deck you have there. I'm going to use it. I don't care. So we have, um, Talia here. Talia, funny enough, would actually kill out Viego by herself. That could be a play here, but the problem. Oh, what am I talking about? He's gonna kill something and then he easily he, he can he can hate spike this. He can hate spike this and then uh, I'll be screwed, right? Bit of a weird thing here, cause I could I could pressure him here and force him to have an answer. I, I'm actually not too sure about that. That's a very awkward play. Now we're forcing him to use mana that he probably didn't want to use. He probably wanted to do something here. He probably wanted to go shopping. And now he can't go shopping anymore. <laughs> He's like, damn, I gotta use this stupid skill. Vengeance on this thing. He, like, he fucked himself. Now what sucks is that I would love to just switch this with another unit. But at this point, um, he's giving me such a beautiful, um... He's giving me such a beautiful homecoming, I'm just gonna take it. Wait, is this a... This is a one drop? Oh! Oh, Lord Jesus! Why is that a one drop? Oh, no! Why is this a one drop? I know it's because it, this thing has to die, then a countdown has to come out. But that being a one drop is hilarious. Holy crap, I get to replay it. Oh, you lords. It makes me want to think, yo, should we do these those one drop decks? Do we gotta do I gotta get a, a Von Yip deck up in here? Oh, you hate to see it. I mean he's still pretty fat, but. Where's that? I feel like that. Okay, that's not surrender worry for him. Okay. I'm gonna snap play the uh Natalia here. No one likes a bad winner, Sammy. Why? I can single patient. <laughs> one, I could actually stealth her if I really wanted to, and we could push ten damage that way. Um even and I, or if I want to I could I can uh, kill Viego. Uh if he tries to pull I could pull Viego and then kill him off that way. We're in a really good spot. This is act this deck kinda seemed a little spicy though. Hold on, wait a minute. It's a little spicy. I really wish Juzi, uh, Josie was here. Jesus Christ. Literally, that's just it's so funny. I mean, it is a meta deck, so. I almost want to, like, ping them. Like, ping them on, like, like send them an email. Send them a, send them a voicemail. <laughs> but, yeah, this is cool. Even though this is a one-off. Oh, he went for it. So, are you going to hate? Even hate spike doesn't stop this. Hate Spike doesn't stop this. Why did you play Viego? <laughs> I, I can't fathom why you would play Viego. Um, you would have to... What what can he do for five mana? Like, he'd have to cancel this out, but he can't. He can't vengeance me. What, what was the purpose of this? Hey, hey, just to be fair, my last match, I, I messed up bad. So it is what it is. What, what do you have? Okay, Hate Spike. That doesn't do anything. He still dies. I command you. The desert likes you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure about that. And hey, the lower this guy gets, I'm telling you, not only can I go, I can go elusive wuju style and go for a game and completely ignore him. Does he have a uh, black spear? Black spear should make sense in his deck. Black spear is this. Should I do it? I'm doing it because I'm toxic. Thanks, bro. <laughs> 
I appreciate your patronage. It is that kind of spicy though. All right, so he has four cards now, five cards in hand. Um, we still have a lot of big blockers. I, 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 I technically, I think I have lethal uh, with Wuju style and this. Uh, the best thing he could do, I think, is Vengeance, um, Talia. So this is three mana, uh, no, this is only a two mana play. So if I need to, I could still switch. So what I what I need to have what I need to at that what I need to happen here is I need to have uh, how much is this is one mana too cool. Let's say that's one mana. I think we have lethal, right? Because this gives me two. This is, this is perfect. That is completely fine. Viego is annoying, but. We just block. Now we just have to wait. I should have played that first, honestly, but. We win on open attack. <laughs> like, we actually win on open attack. The only thing is that I can't block anything. I need three. I need three units. I mean, I could block this. No, that's still too much. Only you were made of rock. One mana. Ugh. I need three units. Cause I need an open slot. That's why I need. I need. I need an open slot. So that when I uh, switch, they're not being blocked by something. I don't think there's anything I do. Oh well. Hi! <laughs> Long time no fucking see. <laughs> My man Yi coming at the, the, the end end of the game. Now we have 11, uh, sorry, we have 12 mana here. I only need uh, one, two, three, nine. <laughs> so I have nine mana. So I have the opportunity to play Yi here and see what he does. But it's still one to one at the moment, right? I gotta go for it. I don't care. That's 12 damage. He needs to have, uh, he has to have vengeance or something. See, the problem is that if I switch here, that he just, that he still gets away with everything. If only I had um, something else. Vile Feast, oh, okay, he's just gonna heal. Damn it. That was close. That was close, man. Ugh. Two HP. He's at nine at the moment. With a bunch of little spiders. Almost had him, man. I almost had him. I think next turn, uh, even if he levels, I don't care if he levels, I'm gonna try to bounce him back to the hand. Uh, also, we have to, oh no, he could atrocity me. No, atrocity is seven. Uh, I can also still snap the Wuju. Wait, does he? Okay. 
I could do something about that, but I'm not. The lesson begins. Maybe I should have developed a little bit there, but I think maybe I should have still developed. He might not have had. I, you know what? I didn't even look at his hand the entire time. I should have. He, he really didn't have that many cards in his hand. I should have developed. I, I can still use a little bit more mana here. Another Talia. That's good. So if I need to, I could sacrifice this Talia. And then I can still use this to heal her up a little bit. All right. Here we go. This should be the conclusion of this match. We got Chase Stone. So he only needs four, uh, a four attack unit to die. If he, oh yeah, that, my man Yi with the zero. My man reducing it. Yo, shout out to Yi. Shout out to my boy Yi. Oh, you guys are quiet. This is an epic match. You guys are quiet. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, again, he gets to draw. I can't bounce that back. I can't do it. Like the the best thing I could do is still just try to cuz he ha he can still have atrocity. I have to respect atrocity. Now he has a 6 mana thing. I have to respect that at all at all costs. I think we just sacrifice Talia here and we just replay another one. And then if we play Talia onto this, we'll just have a shit ton of blockers. Uh, he can actually even end his turn, and then, like, he just kind of, he just... I actually think that's kind of what he should do. Maybe, like, slow grind me at this point, and just slowly pick off my characters. But it, he would kill, you know, he would actually kill this. Uh, if Diego leveled would just take my 5-3, but I get another 5-3 anyway. Then he'd only have three units on the board. No, he'd have four. He still would have four, because, uh, the... They, no, he would create... No! Is the greatest enemy. Shut up! After me. We're so good. We're in a great position right now, so... Just like he messed up, I, I I messed up, he messed up. This is crazy. Josie, where you at? I, I don't know if you're a boy or a girl. I'm just gonna call you my dog. My homie. My homie. He's struggling, he thinking, thinking. And also with the, the spiderling in jeopardy, if he ends, I'm, I'm taking the end. And we get syncopation. Oh, we have everything we need. We have everything we need. That's GG, ladies and gentlemen. We done did it. We done did it. I don't give a damn about your king. Get out of here. I think all he has is atrocity. Okay, vengeance. Uh, what <laughs> is this too much? I, I I can't do too too much though, cause then he can just uh. Four. Got it, baby. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It is a great day. So yeah, that's how you beat uh, Evelyn Viego. You just have to. <laughs> very simple, as you can see. It's very simple, easy to do. I think if we win, we go into gold. I think if we win this, we get we get into gold. I, I think you win like 20 or 25 per, I think. How long have I been recording for? That'd be interesting to know. Yeah, this guy's gold. This guy is officially a gatekeeper. It's only 30 minutes of recording, which is pretty funny. Quick is like, pick me, pick me, pick me. So what did we learn? We learned that our deck, we need other cards. I, and this deck is definitely slow. Lee Sinheimer, that's slow as hell. 
Um, so we need our champions. We need our cards and move. Oh, ye said I'm in here. Show me. We have ye. Oh, ye. Damn. Double the ye. Double the pleasure. Double the fun. All right. Cool. Ye said he wants to play. Broke my hand, so I got a new one. Uh, what's really cool about the ghost is, like I said, we could definitely push lethal with ye if he's been out there for like eight years. Uh, then we could yeah, definitely do that. One damage, we don't care. We get to bank the mana, and we should be fine here. You're dying over <laughs> I don't know. Are you dying because of the heat or because I'm making you laugh? All right, here we go. Let us see if you are worthy. I might just pop the Wuju. Just to trigger. I, I need him to be strong, especially because we have another one in hand. I definitely think that we should be... Uh, I can be a little bit more aggressive with here. The problem, though, is that he is... Uh, this is a deck that likely has a bunch of removal. Because it looks like it's slow as balls. And I'm just assuming that... Yo, imagine... <laughs> okay. Now I back a bunch. You honestly thought that would work. That's insane. Um, I mean, I could dodge it like this. I could dodge it like... We're going to just use the Wuju. Because <clears throat> what this allows me to do... When he messes up here by doing this... It allows me to trigger flow and it allows me to push more damage overall. So it's a, it, that's an overall bad play. For one mana, he can't do anything else with that either. Unless he has recall. Are you going to recall? Yeah, I, I thought so. Next turn, though, I might be screwed, but it's fine. Oh, don't. Are he, oh my god, he scared the shit out of me. He's like, you forgot about this card, Yugi. I was like, what the fuck? Bro, after that buried in ice video, I just don't know what to do with myself anymore. All right, and he, and he actually makes the Wuju style cheap. Try to keep up. Uh, I feel like we should save the quicksand specifically for Yi, uh, Lee Sin. <clears throat> of laughter, I'm, I'm glad. All right, so I think we saved the thing for Lee Sin because I'm pretty sure Lee Sin's going to come wagging his dick around. Oh, boy. So we got four damage. You're main decking that? Bro. Bro, how do you sleep at night? Why do I know that he has another one? He has another one. And he just, just mess up your top decks, bro. I'm perfectly fine with that. That's why I don't run that card. I actually like the card in theory. I wish it just created it in hand. Or maybe it made it like more expensive. It maybe created it in hand or something, but... Um, we still open attack here. I could see if I do this. Is there a five drop that I'm worried about? Heimer. Yeah, we can do that. What do we draw? Syncopation. <laughs> Perfect. I'd rather Wuju style, though, to be honest with you. This just makes his Heimer play awkward. Heimer's already fragile to begin with. But his deck seems like it would actually run really good if Heimer drops on five. And then he, he keeps dropping one mana turrets all day. So I'm thinking that's what he's trying to do. Uh, but uh, da, 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 da. I think Yi is going to carry his way here. This is also another Yi. So if I can keep flow activated, we're definitely going to activate flow here, whether he likes it or not. Or you could just do this. You guys, I always edit these out of my video. I hate when people do this. Like, bro, stop it. But I, I sometimes I take long doing my turns too. So, but I'm a content creator, so I'm way more impatient than others. Enemy after me. And also, I love that that they always added that in. That's the best thing that uh, Rune Terror has added is quotes for when someone's taking too long in a turn. And I love that certain characters, based on their personality, complain about you taking too long or complain about the opponent taking too long. I love that. Oh boy. All right. Good talk. Good talk. My man saw this rolling sand and he just was like, bro, I got to. I can't make him vulnerable, man. I got to play something else. This this the rolling sands is still to me one of the best. Oh, we we getting in the gold for free for free. Can I get a for free in chat? <laughs> Yo, I'll take it. You guys already know. I would love to uh, snap a, a thing here, but. It's not worth it. I would love to level him up, like give him stronger, but. Tal Dizzle in the build. Oh no. Multiple Yisifs? Could we do multiple Yisifs? I could do it. 
That is pretty exactly. Only I can endure the dragon's fuel. Did he top deck that? That was such a weird play. All right, so I don't care. <laughs> Still don't care. All right, so because I'm gonna quicksand you, and then I'm gonna boost you up, and I should be good. There we go. I also could just bounce the e-bike right now if I really wanted to. I also could out to, ooh, question chat. Does anyone know? If there are two yees on the field, do they double the amount of uh, grant all yees? Does that happen twice? Oh my God, do I want to test that right now? I want to test that so fucking bad. Holy God, do I want to test that. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll get gold first, and then we'll go into an AI game, and I'll test it. Because <laughs> I really want to test it. Unless he pulls him right now. If he pulls him right now, I'll do it. He probably he drew uh, the, the shitty card. So this is two damage. I mean, Wu just all just answers it correctly. It just answers it in so many different ways. But I can't resist. I'm a demon, bro. Well, actually, I don't need to. I don't need to copy it with Talia technically. Technically, a cheaper Yi. I have I already have a cheap Yi. This allows me to save more mana. That fated day is never far from my thoughts. I have to do it for science, yeah. I don't know if he'll trigger. Well, this G's gonna trigger, right? He's gonna trigger. Um, if I play another card, I'd have to just snap my ghost here. I can't play another card for no reason, though. That's like actually throwing. We'll see next turn, cause I I will be playing cards next turn, and then we'll have both G's out. A calm heart. So they do have their own. I've dealt. So that's interesting. Hmm. Form before strength. I I actually should have maybe committed the sharp shape stone here. Yeah, I should have. That was a mistake. I'm not I'm hoping he plays something but this is actually me baiting him into something because I was I was thinking like he'll play something and I'll shape on it and he messed up his draws by that card this 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 card is just terrible um yo I appreciate these people helping me out bro Yo, it's like, sometimes you can't find good help these days, you know? Like, when you need something to die and, like, they just don't, they don't cooperate. So he stops it. The dragon spirit awakens. Bro, you're still killing the card. Bro, the dragon spirit is about to be extra pissed. I don't need to negative him. I mean, he didn't block anything else though either. So, just just to assert dominance, <laughs> just to just to observe the he's actually. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, 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 oh! My lesson is complete. We taught that mother. <laughs> A. You love to see it in gold now. In gold now with such magnificent play. <laughs> oh lord. I do not deserve a YouTube channel. I really don't. Oh my god. If you guys know that after I recorded this on stream, I was trying to get the clip. Oh wait, am I gonna die? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna die. All right, so I wanted to showcase whether or not if you have double Yi and you actually 
which is going to be very difficult for me to do. I can keep both of them alive this turn, and then the next turn, I'll be able to see whether or not uh, they actually get flow on both ways, right? So that's what we're trying to see here. Okay, there we go. Here we go, guys. We get to see finally uh, whether or not it works or not. Each strike spells a new legacy. Dude, it took me like almost an hour to get this to work before. So does each Yi give a actual thing? That's what we're looking for. So he's at nine. It does work. Hmm. 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 This deck is just getting better and better.